So today, why don't we find the molar mass of aluminum hydroxide? So first, what we're going to do is use this table to help organize our thoughts. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements in the compound. So I have aluminum, I have oxygen, and I have hydrogen. Next is I'm going to write down the number of atoms of each element in this compound. So at the bottom of aluminum, there's an invisible one. So that means that there is one aluminum atom in aluminum hydroxide. Uh, now, with hydroxide, there are three hydroxides. But wait a minute, in each single hydroxide, there's one oxygen here and there's one hydrogen. So in total, what that must mean is that there will be three oxygens, essentially, and three hydrogens. I'm not going to leave those subscripts down there, but I hope you get the point. So there are three atoms of each. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those number of atoms and then multiply it by the mass of each particular element. So we use the periodic table to help us out. So here's the mass of aluminum, here's the mass of oxygen, and here's the mass of hydrogen. Uh, those values could either be in grams per mole if you're finding molar mass or AMU if you're finding molecular mass. So let's write them down. So aluminum is 26, 26.98. Oxygen is about 16. And then let's make that a little neater, why don't we? And then hydrogen is going to be about 1.01. So then to find the total mass now of the element in the compound, we're just going to simply multiply this row together. So for aluminum, it's just simply 26.98. For oxygen, it's going to be uh, 48. And then hydrogen, it's about 3.03. 3 .03. Now to find the total mass then of the entire compound, all we have to simply do, nice and simply, add this column up. And when we do that, we get a value of 78.01. Since we're finding molar mass. The units here are in then gram per mole. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope this helps. Check us out. we got tons more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.